think it's going to be a rough ride. I'm afraid so. How do you feel about that? I'm a little anxious. The one should say I've been too rough. But I took my Stuger on, so. Depth is reducing. It's going to go down really subtly here. Eight, seven feet, six feet, seven feet, and we're increasing. I'm glad I put the windshield down. 35 feet. You having fun yet? Yeah, I'm having fun. It was a little rough up there, huh? When we turned. Yeah, it was. So this is what heavy winds and heavy seas like this do to our speed over the ground. At least we're not going upwind all the way. Once we turn around, the winds from there will have it from behind. It's very hard to capture wave size. Currently these swells are between three and four feet. Well, that was quite a wave. I missed it. We have water flowing down here. It's our feet that gets wet, not our face. <laughs> we have seaweed on the windshield. <laughs> Where we are. The wind is on our beam now, so we're going to let out some of our Genoa. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, so you're letting it out, I'm bringing it in. Yep. And we're going to take out about 80% for now. Here we go. What? Okay, are you ready? Okay, okay, that's 50%. Yeah, I don't think they always show you this in the sailing brochure. They don't ever show you. <laughs> it's settled down a little, but it's still pretty rough. Oh, my freshly clean, clear. Oh, wow. Currently, we're heading to that blue waypoint. It's 31.34 miles away, and we expect to get there at 0237. We'll be going to take away five hours from that, which will be seven. Take away seven hours. What did I say? Five. five. Then Bedtime for you. <laughs> when we sailing along the passages, of course, we can't be together all the time because other when are you going to rest? When are you going to do other things? So we usually choose between six and eight local every day to have overlapping shifts, and that's when we have time together. We have supper or lunch or whatever we're going to do. It seems to work well for us. Lizzie doesn't mind being woken up in the middle of the night, and I don't mind working until one. So it works for both of us. Yeah, it works really well, actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. It's going on around 20 to 6 and the winds are much calmer. Uh, we're making good headway. We ended up putting up the mainsail earlier this afternoon. The sun is setting out in the west. This is up here. She's been practicing her steering, manual steering, and I think she she agrees that. I'm having an autopilot is very good. This is the island that's named after me. It's by Esteban. Triggerfish, yes. I like triggerfish, it's good. It is really good. 
I don't know what we're going to do when we go to the Pacific because this is a, it's about a trip of about a month long. We're going to get tired of the sea or worried about food. Oh, I just wonder. It's a long time. A long time. We'll either make it or we won't. I don't know. We'll make it. We'll be fine. Sure. The cooked fish is really, really good. It is. You can see we're making good progress. Started over here. There we are at the moment. And we're heading in this direction. Where are we going? Is over here. That's San Carlos. The sun started to come up and it is so pretty. I'm glad I was here this morning outside to see it come up a little at a time. I've been sitting outside because the autopilot keeps deciding to shut itself off and then I have to turn it back on again. Turn the lights off. Well, we're making progress. It's almost seven in the morning and that's where we are. Can you believe that little thing over there is a full GPS receiver? Things are much quieter this morning. So Lizzie, how was your night? It was chilly because I was sitting outside. Yeah. And well, you were sitting outside, why? Because the autopilot kept deciding to take a hike. Over an hour now and we haven't had any interruption of the autopilot service. During the night, it was quitting at least every 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Thank you for the tea. You're welcome. Well, that was a night. It was frustrating. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. I was sitting with Lizzie up at the helm when I came on duty at six, and suddenly it struck me. We'd solved this before. <laughs> Got a boat network besides the network that controls the instruments. And sometimes those two get into conflict with each other. I switched off the network, and guess what? Sourdough bread. <laughs> Thank you. Life wouldn't be the same without a cup of tea in the morning. No. And life is good. We didn't see a single other boat yesterday. Not visibly, not on the radar, and also not on the AIS. And I only heard two very faint transmissions. It's crazy. The wake has a mesmerizing effect on me. I can sit and watch it for hours. The soothing sound and the, when the motion is nice like this, it's very relaxing. We're currently about 10 miles offshore. wind seems to be dropping. We really don't like running the motors. It's noisy. This piece of seaweed is still clinging on for dear life. If you've been enjoying this, please press the like button. That helps us a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Almost noon. Got both engines running. And the Genoa. All passages cast their spell on you. You may be aware of the start of your adventure, but by the middle, you are consumed by the experience. Only when the end arrives do you realize that this was your tale. You own it, completely. Every hardship, every joy, every failure, every success, every disappointment, every accomplishment, everything is yours. You set out with intention. Despite challenges, you persevered to the end. Agony nourishes ecstasy. It is simply impossible to have one without the other. Don't fear the very thing that brings ecstasy. Life is not a dress rehearsal. This is your special and unique life and only you can live it.
Did this video stir you? Not all passages are made on boats. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please, leave a comment below.